holding the coping saw, it's important that we use both hands for good control and accuracy. We hold it like a golfer holding a golf club. And also it can relate to the use of the tailing saw with the finger pointing out, which can relate to the pistol grip. This gives us a lot more control and accuracy over the whole tool, the blade and the frame. Because if we hold it in one hand, we don't have the same grip or control or precision when using the tool. This is why it's important to ensure that we have two hands firmly gripped on the handle and can have good control over the frame and the blade of the tool. This can be related to the control, accuracy and precision of a golfer when they're using their golf club. This is very important when using the tool as precision and accuracy when using coping saw is very important to create a good, nice, accurate, precise project. Why do we use a boxing stance when sawing? Boxing stance would be a wider stance where you have your feet further apart. This allows you to have more control and balance over your body. This is very important when using the tool. Stance can also be related to other sports where control, balance and accuracy is also very important. For instance, free taker in soccer, golfer, free taker in hurling and also a tennis player. Having good control and balance over your body can be very important for the health and safety aspect in the woodwork classroom. With the balance and control over the tool, it reduces the risk of stumbling with the tool in your hand. This comes down to the centre of gravity where you are spreading your body weight over a large surface area with your legs spread apart. Compared to having your feet closer together, having minimal control and balance. This allows for control over both the tool and the piece you're creating for a lot more precision and accuracy through your processing.